we're going to take a look at the tracking tool in Urban Tunes. Now, the tracking tool is usually something which you will use when you're using a external video or pre-rendered scene or a rendered set of frames. And if you're wanting to use video, you have to bear in mind that you can only import QuickTime movie files or AVI files. And for both of those formats, you will want to have them as high quality as possible. If you are having to convert a file to AVI, you will want to have it uncompressed. Not all the codecs will automatically work with OpenTunes. And likewise, with QuickTime files, you'll need to be careful which codecs you use, and not all of them will work. So here we have two very different files. The first one is a high definition nature scene. The second file is far poorer quality and it is a historic piece of footage which as you can see with the MOV file in this on the my system it has not scaled the file properly so um I'm just going to scale this quickly and Make sure it matches the scene. So we are going to be using the tracking tool, which is this tool over here between the hook and the skeleton tool. And it is used to track part of a movie or sequence of images so that you can attach an object in the scene to that motion. Unfortunately, it's not incredibly sensitive. So, for example, if over here we try and track this aeroplane, what you will basically do is either in the level strip or in the X sheet, you're going to select the entire set of frames, I'm going to go to level, I'm going to go to tracking, and we're just going to do a track. And what you will see is that nothing happens. Now, when we take a look at the settings over here, we've got two main settings which will affect how it tracks. And then we have two settings which will allow you to check the background in more detail for an image like this, which we will check on in this case. And variable region size means that this region can expand and contract. Um, and then we have sensitivity, which is unfortunately misspelled in this version of, of OpenTunes. And that will affect how many times it searches for the image in terms of each frame. And I'll just turn that the entire way up. In your more advanced tracking software, it will usually end up taking a long time if you put crank the sensitivity up, but for the kind of tracking you're doing in OpenTunes, you're not really going to notice. And the threshold, the lower the threshold, the 
more chance the tracking is going to fail. So if we up the threshold, just do a complete selection and do a track. What we will see is once again this is completely and utterly insufficient for what we want. So what we're actually going to do is we are going to focus on a much smaller section. If you do not focus on a small section, you are going to have the problems which we had earlier. It actually needs to track as small an area as possible in order to be effective. Um, and we try again now, should hopefully provide a much better result. As you can see, this is now tracking with the image. It's not a perfect track. And unfortunately, it's very difficult to get a perfect track. With certain things, so for example, if we were to add different options to track the chimneys, we will see that it is going to have more difficulty with those. Now, I can get a more accurate track than that by lowering the threshold again, but for Video like this, where you do not have very good quality video, you are not going to get much better results than what I have got. It is either going to fall below the threshold and not going to track at all, or it is going to provide average tracking at best. You will get much better results if we have, for example, here with a much higher quality image or much higher quality film. If we were to say, for example, to try track this leaf over here, the chance of us having a decent tracking is much higher. As you can see with the better quality film, you get a much more stable track and it is sufficient for your kind of basic purposes. Now, you can also track multiple parts of an image. So, for example, if we want to track a section over here, this section there. We can get tracking on all of those points. Okay, now we want to use our tracking. 
And to do that, we're going to go to the schematic and just delete that track. So to link anything to our tracking points, we do not do B to B, but we will do A to B. And then we shall change that by hovering over here to access the numbers. Because if we look at our tracking here, the tracking tool, we'll see that all of these tracking points have numbers. And we can therefore use those numbers to determine where each image that we want tracked is going to be attached. Now, what we will notice here is that not all of the images have gone to their center. And the thing is, this image was off-center to begin with. So it was not centered. And you can either have your images centered, or you can connect them with hooks. So for example, if we want to take this image, we want to place a hook in its center. If we go here and we can now center that image on the shape center, we could also place multiple hooks on this image and choose any of those hooks to connect to that tracking point. And all of those images, just take them. Now move along with the tracking points.